In this video, we are going to have a virtual walking tour in Georgetown, a very colorful city in Malaysia, which is included into UNESCO World Heritage List. We will stroll in its streets, enjoying the beautiful architecture and street art. We will visit a Buddhist temple and then attend the city celebrations of Chap Gome, which is the 15th day of Chinese New Year. There are a lot of originally Chinese people living in Malaysia, so there is a mass celebration with a constant program on this day. So make yourself comfortable and let's explore this beautiful Malaysian city together. You know, Georgetown has a really fascinating history. It was founded in 1786 by Captain Francis Light of the British East India Company. He named it after King George III of England. Georgetown is located on Penang Island and it quickly became a major trading port, attracting traders from China, India, the Middle East and Europe. The flow of traders and settlers led to a diverse population, including Malays, Chinese, Indians and Europeans. This mix of cultures shaped the city's unique character. Georgetown used to be a colony of Britain, and under British rule it developed with colonial buildings, schools and infrastructure. British architecture was blended with the local styles. During the World War II, Georgetown was occupied by Japanese forces from 1941 to 1945. After the war it returned to British control until Malaya gained independence in 1957. In 2008, Georgetown was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its well-preserved historical buildings and cultural heritage. This is a lovely narrow street with Bomba street art. The term Bomba means fire station in Malay. This street with murals is located next to a fire station. The artwork tells stories about the history of firefighting in the city and pays tribute to local firefighters, showing scenes from the past and present. There are also murals commemorating other rescuers and heroes. These murals were created by talented local and international artists, bringing their unique styles and creativity to the walls of Georgetown. Bomba street art has become a popular attraction for tourists who enjoy exploring and photographing the colorful and meaningful murals. Georgetown is known for its rich cultural diversity reflected in its festivals, food and architecture. It's a vibrant city where different cultures coexist harmoniously. You can see on the same street a mosque, a Hindu temple, a Chinese temple and a Christian church all close to each other, symbolizing religious diversity. There are a lot of traditional Chinese clan houses and shop houses with intricate designs and the little India district is full of colorful buildings, shops and temples reflecting Indian culture. So Georgetown's architecture is a mix of styles and histories. Now we are going to explore Hainan Thien Hao Temple. It is a special and important place in Georgetown with a long history. The temple was built in 1895 by the Hainanese community, so it is over 100 years old. It is dedicated to Thien Hao, the goddess of the sea, who is believed to protect fishermen and sailors. The temple is known for its beautiful decorations, colorful carvings, statues and paintings. The detailed artwork on the walls and ceilings shows scenes from Chinese legends and stories. Visitors can see the main altar, which has a statue of Thin Hao, and other smaller altars dedicated to different deities. There is also a hall where people can learn about the history of the Hainanese community in Georgetown. The Hainan Thien Hao Temple is not just a place for worship, it is also a cultural center for the Hainanese people. It hosts many events and activities that help keep their traditions alive. 
The temple becomes especially lively during Chinese New Year and Thin House Birthday. During these festivals, the temple is decorated with red lanterns and many people come to pray, make offerings and enjoy the celebrations. Besides its role in festivals, the temple is a quiet place where people come to find peace and seek blessings. As one of the oldest temples in the city, the Hainan Thien Hao Temple is an important historical landmark. It reflects the rich cultural heritage and diversity of Georgetown. The temple's architecture combines traditional Chinese styles with local influences, making it a unique and beautiful building. Tourists from all over the world visit the temple to admire its beauty. Islam is the main religion in Malaysia, practiced by about 60% of the population. It is also the official religion of Malaysia and the government supports Islamic practices. So there are many beautiful mosques in Malaysia. This is Bengali Mosque, one of the oldest mosques in Georgetown. It was built in the year 1803. The mosque was established by the Indian Muslim community, also known as the Bengali Muslims, who were early settlers in Georgetown. Now we are going to attend a colorful Chap Gourmet celebration in Georgetown. Chap Gourmet is the 15th and final day of Chinese New Year celebrations. And as originally Chinese people constitute around 23% of the Malaysian population, it is a big event in the country. On this day, single women traditionally threw oranges into the sea with their contact information written on them, hoping to find a good match. The Chap Gourmet celebration in Georgetown was held in the square in front of the Penang Town Hall. Many food stalls with delicious street food were lined in the square. It was nice to taste some of the dishes. There was a huge variety of food and everyone could find something to their taste. Plus, food in Malaysia is not expensive, so it was quite affordable to try many different things. The place was very crowded. Also, there were traditional performances on the event, traditional dances in beautiful costumes and also lion and dragon dances that are believed to bring good luck and drive away evil spirits. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we're done with the market prayers, we will be resuming with the program this evening. Once again, I'd like to welcome all of you. Can I take a seat? Because if you're standing uh, tonight, you're going to be standing a lot, you know?
So this is a day when families and friends gather together, laugh, talk and enjoy the tasty foods and performances. Also many visitors, both locals and tourists like us, came to join the celebration. I really like the atmosphere there. Of course, in every Chinese tradition, whenever we talk about Lunar New Year, we always talk about dragon dances and also lion dances, am I right? The dancers made the lion and dragon costumes come to life. Thank you for watching this video. I will be very happy if you leave a like and if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and see you again soon. Bye bye!